Lego. One of the fundamental building blocks of many people's childhoods. Take even the simplest combination of things and add blocks to it to create structures of wonder, intelligence, and childhood creativity. Yes, Lego is a fantastic building tool for the young mind. But. As you're well aware, the painting of Lego has run out, and lots of copycats have arrived and been covered, and everything is all shiny do. But lots of other companies early on also made Lego-based products. Hmm, Lego-based products. And today we're looking at a very popular in the uh, Oriental series of uh, Lego. I'd never heard of them personally, but doing some research, there's quite a lot of it. Whilst Pidge kicks off over there with his mirror, making a lot of noise, because that's what he does. Yes, because today we are looking at Deer Blocks. 3LDK, my home set. Yes. High gloss, non-toxic, bright colour, easy to assemble and detach, yet enough to serve long period of use. Now, obviously, it is a copy of Lego, but I wouldn't call it a knockoff because it is an educational building block toy recommended by Tokyo Metropolis's government. The Japanese government thought this was a good idea at some point, or at least the Tokyo government did. Look, there's this person with a block on their nose. I bet they don't regret that at all. And this is set number number 107A in house. Dear Block. Made in Japan, Dear Block. Now, it is open, as I'm sure you've noticed. I don't know what it says there, GR. Um, I don't know what it says there. I, I brought this set for, I think it was £3. They've been trying to sell it for 10 and couldn't. I've only opened it to see if it is in there and to make sure it's not full of spiders and monkeys. And thankfully it is. Not spiders or monkeys. Also, it appears that I did not get rid of all the sellotape. That was clever of me. But yes, Deer Block. What is Deer Block? Well, it is Lego with weird faces on the inside. And we do have instruction manuals. But let's not waste any of that time. Let's just get straight to the action. Here's some Deer Block. It looks like Lego. It does not feel like Lego. It has points like Lego. It connects like Lego. And it comes apart a lot easier than Lego. Lego. It is knock-off Lego. What more am I supposed to say? It is, uh, well, I don't even know if it's knock-off technically, it is a, a copy of Lego. Um, it's it very difficult to talk about this sort of thing. I mean, you've only got details, there's a door and the door works and you stick it in there and you can see, actually this will, you can see where this has been built and a structure has been there for a long, long time time or rather no rather the structure has gone along here this particular purple bit pink bit that stayed pink this has been on display for a long time this sort of thing you'd expect to find in a museum i'd never heard of deer block before and here are our instruction manuals which i have not looked at this is patent 7797171 etc so assumably there's more to that my home model 3LDK is a modern and colourful house of deer blocks you can build for yourself. As deer blocks can be detached easily, you can enjoy building it again and again after various earthquakes and terrorist attacks. You can change the design of the house according to your taste. The completed house presents nice decor of any room and also matches with any other deer block products. Now, I think that's supposed to mean that, it, it, you know, it, it, it will make the house look nice if you display it. Like people do with Lego, except this is deer blocks. Kind of parts. Well, they are kind of parts, I suppose. See the table to check the required quantities of parts before assembly. Now, somebody appears to have gone through this and marked things down. So, if this is relevant to now, we are short of one joint. And maybe one of these as well. Ha! Remark on red, blue, yellow, green, white, pink, just back there. No. Um, oh, goodness gracious, this is not going to be fun to put together. How to use joints. Yes. Oh! Oh, okay. So, joints are supposed to go on the bottom here. Uh, is this a joint? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, joints go on the bottom here. And then you're supposed to take the next bit and connect it like that, so they stay together. That's actually quite smart, because then the bits stay together without having to put a block across. 
Now, obviously, being me, I would just, you know, put a block across like that and the problem's barely well solved. But they have this joint system, and that's actually quite clever. How easy is it to take a joint apart? Very easy, apparently. You just pull it. Mmm, the more you know, dear blocks. You were definitely onto something with this, he lied. Uh, is there a date on this? I'm sure this was like 1978. I'm sure I've seen a date when I was inspecting the box earlier on. Let me just have a quick look. No, no. No, 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 no. Oh, it was on eBay when I was looking at it. Whoops, okay, yeah, this is like a 1970s uh, building box set. And here are the instructions. If you want to actually build the house according to the instructions, I personally don't really want to because that's going to be a lot of work. Look at this beautiful house, though, that you can build using all of these parts. Hmm, the instructions are torn. I should probably sellotape that together as I do actually quite like having instructions. Gah! Completed my home 3LDK, and this is by the uh, Kawada, Kawada, Kawada Company Limited, 16 Nishokubu 3 Chrome Shinjuku Tokyo Japan. I said all of that wrong, and I have no shame. Well, I mean, I could build it, but I'm not going to. I mean, even just pulling that apart is uh, not doing wonders for this. Um, right, let's fold that like that. That's how it's meant to be. So let's not fold that together. Let's, um, I'm going to build a thing I have decided. I'll build something big and proper. We'll time lapse up because we like time lapse things on uh, this YouTube channel. I will build a small house. In fact, I will build a tower of blocks reaching into the sky. There we go. It's a tower of blocks reaching into the sky. They actually go together quite, you know, they actually go together really nicely. Um, I know sometimes uh, cheap and knockoff Lego does not work very well. A bit difficult to get off that piece. Uh, does not work very well, but this actually is uh, this is working fine. This is actually quite quite nice, you know. I mean, okay, yes. How hard is it to copy Lego effectively? Well, kind of difficult. If you look at all the knockoffs and the way that people have done it, it's actually kind of difficult to uh, copy Lego well. But, um, you know, um, maybe there's a reason that uh, the Tokyo Metropolitan Government approved this as an educational toy to be used in probably the jails and torture stations in Japan to teach the inmates as to why they should be very well behaved so they don't have to play with deer blocks instead of just Lego. There we go, here is my very quick construction. This gives you an idea of what it's like to go together. Though They are lots of long block. What else do we have in here? We have windows. Oh, got a uh, sliding, sliding windows. That's pretty interesting. That's a very interesting feature. You know, I'll give them credit for that. I like that. It appears that all the windows... Yeah, all the windows slide. Oh, these ones open? Okay, dear blocks. i got to give you credit. You have some... Uh, how, does, how does that connect? Just like that. That's weird. But dear blocks, you have some very well-constructed pieces. Got to give you credit there, dear blocks. There's some very interesting things there. But uh, enough of building nonsense. How's about we go ahead and actually build something? What am I going to build? <laughs> So I'd like to welcome you to uh, my crib. I've built uh, an eco 
healthy house. That will definitely be amazing to live in. It's got windows to let natural light in, a door that you can't open because the handle broke, and some more windows on this side. We've got a very small window on this artistic rendering of happiness in yellow and blue. On the back, we've got the main window, and I suppose if you wanted to uh, really open uh, the door, you could, uh, you know, get a screwdriver and... Uh, there we go, now the door's open. This lovely window that any burglar from the wrong side of the room can open and steal whatever it is you want in there. And you've got another small window here, and in the roof it's um, got lots of great ventilation and it would let rainwater in, so you always have something to drink. Mmm. And of course, as I said, there's the door. It's so secure, you can't open it. Seriously. Um, yeah, it was... All right, uh, pieces went together all right. I didn't like the window designs much. Um, the opening window bits is fine, but these bits, uh, I put them the wrong way around, but that felt bad because the window wasn't secure, so you couldn't really put it in place and hold it. You had to build around it there and then. Uh, the selection of flat bits like these are incredibly lackluster. In fact, that was the only one that I could find when I was searching. It probably means the bits are missing, but... Uh, oh, wait, now here's another one that you could use to secure your roof. There you go. And... Ew. The pieces went together fine. Obviously, there's not enough to make a sort of roof in the traditional Lego way. Um, obviously, in the instructions, if we look at the picture, you're supposed to build the roof using these long ones. But I didn't do that because I didn't want to. Mm. Oh, I didn't put any grass in. Yes, we need some grass in our eco-friendly house, but um, only one bit. And it's really, 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 really tall. And for some reason... I was going to put this in the centre, but you can't because they're like that. It's got a bit on the top. It's a dragon raw. But yeah, all in all, deer blocks, um, they're all right. There's nothing particularly wrong with them. It's uh, If I didn't, you know, if, if I couldn't have Lego, this would have been a fine... Uh, replacement for that and it really would have been a good replacement now if you take the whole base plate off, obviously the whole structure just falls apart but that's uh that's it i don't think you'd do well building a vehicle out of this obviously there's no bits to build a vehicle out of this because it just wouldn't um stay together and crash and when you get some spectacular crashes out of it if you want to do some crash lego building even though this isn't lego deer block building but uh you wouldn't get much else out of it but yeah all in all deer blocks i'm actually kind of impressed with those I just noticed the box says illustrated instructions are underneath the plastic blocks, which will be for your start. So at least I know how to pack this thing back up. But yes, dear blocks, see how easy it's all coming apart, which is a good thing because it means you ain't got to put them in your mouth and pull them apart, which is obviously a choking hazard, uh, which you'd like to avoid. And that is a problem with Lego. It happens quite a lot. Children choke on Lego because children are stupid. I would know. I was one once. Oh boy, what a stupid kid I was. But yes, dear blocks, only a very quick look at, I'll be honest, in these ones. Uh, there's not much else to say. It is knockoff Lego that is genuinely quite good. If you like this content, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you liked. Tell me what you didn't like. Did you know of dear blocks? Did you even know these things existed? I didn't. It's amazing what charity shops will provide when you look at them. And yeah, I will see you on the next video. And you will probably hear Pidge because he wants to come out. Don't you, Pidge? You always stop doing the impressive thing just as I point the camera at you, don't you? What a silly bird you are.